Okay, 6-1 is complete. A scam has been exposed, and that scumbag of a Galka has been chased out of town. Let's move on to the next mission, which is called the Pirate's Cove. I assume an adventurer of your caliber has heard of Norg. Bitch, I've been to Norg. Like, more than once. Well, the place is a haven for pirates. They even have ties with the Tenshoto. In any case, it's an area that cannot be looked upon lightly. This is why we want you to travel there as an emissary. Report to Sir Naji in the President's office for details. Oh, this is super awkward. I haven't answered, like, any of Naji's texts for, like, months now. Ugh. I gotta think of a convenient excuse for this. You haven't answered any of my messages. Oh, dude, I, I'm sorry, man. I've just been so busy with, you know, traveling and Zillart and all the paperwork. Ah, Mr. Pierso, it looks like you're ready for your next mission. I've heard you're traveling to Norg this time. What? I'm supposed to be giving you the details. That's funny, I don't remember being assigned to this mission. It looks as if the guard mixed the two of us up. As if that could happen. <laughs> oh, Najee. I'm the one who'll be relay relaying the adventurer's orders. As if that could happen. Your mission to Norg is that of a trade emissary. Norg is constantly attempting to strengthen its ties with adventurers. They often rely on them to do certain jobs involving trade. Compared to Windurst and Sandoria, Bastok's relations with Norg run much deeper. That is why, for the sake of our Republic's commerce, we are sending adventurers to such a remote location. I, wa I was to accompany you on this mission, but first I must complete another small task. Travel to Norg and meet with their leader, Gilgamesh. He will give you further information on what you are to do. I will rendezvous with you in Norg when I have finished my current assignment. And that's the gist of it. Wait, before you go, could you come over here for a second? <sighs> what is it, Najee? If it's about getting you off door duty, I, um... I... I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Look, man, the reason I called you over here is that I want you to try to finish this mission ASAP. Preferably before Ayami arrives. I know this must sound strange, but you've gotta help me out here. Recently, Ayami has been acting, well, strange. It's like she's missing that... that something. That... something what? Like, did she lose her wallet? Did she lose her sword? The other day, she was defeated by an enemy that, well, even you could take out. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? And now she's using that as an excuse to restart her samurai training. You can probably tell by looking at me, but we Mithril Musketeers don't spend much time out there on the front lines. Yeah, painfully aware of that. That makes it hard for us to keep our battle skills brushed up. I think that's what's bothering Ayami. She wants to get back what she thinks she has lost. Now she wants to travel to Norg. That will just make things worse. As much as I want to be a number four, I don't want it because she leaves. That's why she's got to remain a musketeer. You know what you've got to do, and keep quiet about this to Ayami. Hmm. Well, that's actually very thoughtful of you, Najee. Good on you, bud. I'd do a high five, but as we said before, there's no high five emote. Although if you get creative in Photoshop, you can uh, make two characters doing the slash wave emote look like they're high fiving. So that's a thing. I'm definitely excited to be learning a little more about Ayami's past and some of the things that have gone on in her life. Um, I, I, I really like the Ayami character. I was really excited when uh, the trust program came out and you actually got her as a trust companion. So it's kind of cool to learn more about her, I mean, through the ninja quest, and it seems like we're learning more about her through this mission as well. So loving how some of these characters are just getting fleshed out. Definitely love this world. All right, let's go talk to Gilgamesh. It's nice I only have to worry about catching these cutscenes on one character. It's easy to forget to get them for Rage Cat when we're doing a mission or quest together. Gilgamesh, I'm afraid the rumors are true. Another rift has split the ground in Misseral Coast in Twain. Then it's the same... Oh, wait a second. Oh! Okay, sorry folks. Um, unexpected development here. I think we're getting another uh, Rhapsody cutscene here. So we'll just get through this quick. Then it's the same deal as with Kofim Island, this place a lot of you keep referring to as Esha. Damned ambassador of the Void. He'd better not show his face around here in Norg, or it's right to Davy Jones' locker with him. 
Oh ho, if it isn't Mr. Pearsell, our friend from the Far East to stop to pay his regards. Oh, that must be Tenzin, who was mentioned to us before. I am Tenzin, a humble warrior with roots planted firmly in the Far East. May our meeting bear fruit. I think we do meet him in story content later. I, th I want to say Chains of Permathia. So the next time we meet him, he probably won't recognize us because this is, you know, this content was released much later. I shall be brief. Word reached me that a priestess from Resenjima Sanctorium has, had caused to step foot here in the Middlelands, and I came to pay my respects. Yet I arrive here only to find that she has gone missing. Mr. Pierceau, I suppose you haven't bumped into Aroa. I have not. Aroha, a magnificent name, and I trust with a character to match. You happen to know anything about her? Because she sure threw a lot of us for quite the loop. I have extensively questioned those at Resenjima Sanctorium, but to a man they shook their heads at each inquiry. Of course, if your story is true, and she has not yet been born, then such a conclusion is foregone. Lord Mr. Pierceau. Um, Mr. Pierceau will do. Permit me to examine the orb she bequeathed unto you. Uh, here you go. Intriguing. Yes, it bears the mark of Resenjima Sanctorium. What the? We have an intruder. What in blazes? Calm yourself, Aldo. She's with our guest. You know, you could have just used a door. Like, that's what I did. This orb connects the bearer with a higher power. Mayhap it will display its true form only to those who open up their hearts to it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting another Rhapsody's cutscene. Oh. Who dis? Delphet's Tower. Well, that's a clue if I've ever seen one. Again, with the door. Ah, you look confused. My companion is intimately connected with the outlying isle that Resenjima Sanctorium calls home. Is it normal to disappear through ceilings like that? Her assertion that the orb is authentic is proof enough. As such, I am inclined to believe this Aroa's story about being from the future. I mean, we've seen weirder shit in Vanity L. I gotta admit, when I saw the little lady flopping around on that rickety vessel, I wondered if the brine had clogged up that skull of hers, but then we learned she wasn't the only one from the future. Then there were others? Yeah, the guy in the mask. None in the Far East bear any ill will towards the priests of Versenjma Sanctorium. And only the purest chosen by the Emperor allowed to alight on the isle housing Resenjima Sanctorum, for it was created by the gods themselves. And who would lift a blade in anger against such souls are unworthy of being called human? Then it should not surprise you to learn that our foe isn't human at all. Darkness is at his beck and call, and he can create entire worlds devoid of all color. I see. Then I must meet with Lady Aroha and find the sinister force that came after her. Where should I begin my search? How do you respond? Uh, <laughs> I'm at a loss. Eh, you know what? What I just saw ain't the weirdest thing that's happened in this story. I saw a woman just now. Ah, so the orb showed you a vision. And it implored you to return to Delkvut's tower. Then we've got all the clues we need. I shall report back with anything I am able to find. Mr. Pierceau, I think it best if you cast your lot with Tenzin. Maybe he'll be able to figure out how to save the future when he gets to meet with Aroa. That's what my gut's telling me anyway, and a pirate's intuition is never wrong. Except when you end up on the hangman's noose. Well, that Tenzin guy must be pretty famous and pretty strong if people regard him that highly. I really don't know much about him myself. Okay, so that was a surprise addition to Rhapsodies of Vanity DL. I'm, I'm sure we'll have more of those. It, you know, confusion abound. Let's click again and see if we can get the continuation for this mission that we're working on. <laughs> Rage Cat's like, I want to come in too. No. Oh. Just wait outside, dear. Oh, I actually get to, like, move around freely in here. That's cool. What's this guy got to say? Hey, old timer. We made Norg our headquarters about 30 years ago. The Crystal War and the unification of countries. All this was unthinkable back then. They were hard times, but no one had their complaints. Cool. 
Arg, so you're the land loving adventurer that they sent from Basta. <laughs> it's so funny. Talking like your old talking like your comrades, old friends and rhapsodies of Anadiel, and then you come to this older stuff and it's like, who the fuck are you again? I'm a busy man, so let's cut with the chit chat and get right down to business. Lately you adventurers are making quite a killing on items, weapons, and the like. We knew that you were out there, but we didn't think you'd be giving us this much competition. But rather than get in each other's way, I thought that there might be a way we could work together. What I want you to give me what I want you to do is give me an idea of what you adventurers are capable of. There are a few items that the mateys couldn't acquire. I want you to go and get them. Travel to one of the molten lava falls in Ifrit's Cauldron. If you throw in a chunk of adamant ore, a monster will appear. Bring back the frag rock that the beast has on it. Do you think you can handle it, you landlubber? Sure can, you semen dweller. I'll, I'll think of something better by the time I've already left. Okay, so let's go get ourselves a chunk of adamant ore. Don't want to head over there and realize we forgot it. And thankfully, despite being hidden and isolated, I mean, Norg is big into trade and such, especially with adventurers. Norg actually does have its own auction house, so we can go up and take advantage of that. I just need to remember where the hell it is. Is it these people? Oh, no, that's like delivery and stuff. Gonna have to forgive me. I Oh, here we go. Never actually gone to the uh, auction house in Norg that I can rem that I can recall. Just a mess of crates. Okay, so we're gonna go down to I believe it was. Whoops, I believe it was smithing. Materials. Let's see if we can find. There we go, Adam and Ore. How much is that going for? Oh, well, only five k. It's not bad. A lot better than I was expecting. Sometimes when it comes to quest or mission items, they're just jacked right up. Perfect. Well, to, ever, to whoever I just gave 5,000 gil to for that, don't spend it all in one place. So we're in Ifrit's Cauldron. We took the Yuator Jungle entrance. And it says, the guide says, from the entrance, go south at the first fork. Um, we're about as far south as we can go. And we went through the correct entrance and checking the map on the guide and yeah it looks like the correct oh you know what maybe we did okay I see apparently there's two entrances so okay we uh, didn't take the correct entrance that's okay though we'll uh, we'll figure it out Okay, thankfully the monkeys don't aggro. What are the... Alright. Okay. Let's try going up this way. We need to get to... Um, I You can't see it on the screen here, but I've got it open on the guide. We just need to get to the correct map. So... I'm just gonna wander. Oh gosh, are we at a dead end? No, we're not. No, we're not. There's a cave over here. So we're just gonna wander up this way and see if we can find the uh, correct way through. And hey, this is good for me because it's an opportunity to kind of explore this area a little more because this area is quite new to me. I think just for safety's sake, as I've said before, I don't like to steamroll through areas and bosses. I like there to be a little element of challenge, but we are going to go ahead and just summon Kupipi just in case we get into a bit of trouble. There, there are a lot of nasty things here that aggro. There's so many freaking bombs roaming around too, and those can get pretty dangerous pretty fast. I do find they're quite easy to sneak by though. Okay, so we're out in the central area. That looks so cool. Oh, I know I said that last time we were here, but that just looks awesome. Oh, and it looks like there's a treasure coffer here. There's a couple of... Well, there's only one other person here. 
I don't know if this person here is looking for the treasure coffer, but we'll go ahead and send them a tell here. Always good to pay it forward just in case people are looking for chests because that can be a really frustrating ordeal. Oh, got a bomb here. I don't think we're going to be able to sneak by this one. We'll see. Oh, was I able to? Oh, damn. Those things got tunnel vision to the extreme. Okay, let's head out this way. And we'll see if this map is the correct map. Uh... Hmm. It looks like it is. The map on the, um... on the guide has some spots actually indicating what caves you can go into, whereas the map in-game doesn't, but this does look like the, uh, correct spot here. So we need to go to... Let me just check here. We need to go to... We need to go to H7 and there will be a lava puddle with a question mark close by. So H7, so we are looking to get about over here. And it looks like there's a little drop there too, so we'll have to be careful of that. And these wasps, I don't have a lot because I've only been here the once. I keep having to check everything just to see if it aggroes. The bombs are always a safe bet that they aggro. Okay. <clears throat> haven't come up to any flame spouts yet, thankfully, so I haven't had to use any ice clusters. Not a bad idea if you're going to be returning to this area to keep a stash of those hidden away just so that you uh, have them if you need to come through here. I wouldn't mind coming here and doing some EXPing at some point too, just to try it out. Okay, so there is a drop-off, and I have it marked on my map, so it's a drop with the cliff face facing east. So I don't know if we need to be at the top of that cliff or if we can just be at the bottom. So we'll go up this way and take a look, but if we have to go back, we have to go back. Oh, I think that's our money shot right there. Okay, so these mobs, we're going to have a bomb mob and a lizard mob spawn. They are going to be about in the level 60-ish range. So we'll see how this goes. I have faith in us. You have a bad feeling about this place. Like many places. Now I think the only one we actually have to kill is the bomb. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't have provoke. <laughs> uh, the joys of trying something new. Alright, let's throw up Sentinel. And let's get Rage Cat jumping into the action here. Little War Cry. Throw up some damage buffs. Definitely a comfort knowing that we have Kupipi here. I'm going to try to throw up an Utsusemi. I totally, totally forgot to actually throw one up before the fight. My bad. Again, still getting used to the ninja abilities. Throw up a little Rampart. Keep some of those defense buffs up. Okay, I'm just waiting for Rage Cat to get a little more... TP, so we can try out for our little skill chain love there. Another flash. I feel like these guys attack are attacking quite quickly, especially the lizard. Oh, let's throw up reprisal as well, too. 
You can get that little shield thorns effect. Man, these guys hit quick. Damn. Okay, I think we're looking good. I'm gonna get Ridge. Oh, I thought he was self-destructing. He's just using Berserk. Before he can use Berserk, let's have Rage Cat throw up footwork. We're gonna do some Swift Blade. Oh, looks like we killed him. No skill chain for us. <laughs> we'll just wait for Mr. Pierso to get more TP. I don't want to waste that. Okay, Sentinel and Rampart are still cooling down. Let's throw up Flash. Rage Cat can get some HP back with Chakra. Shield Bash. Throw up some Utsusemi. Babe, you are hard to keep hate off of, especially when I'm trying a new sub job. But, I can always go ahead and throw up some more cures. Love those copies. I, I have definitely missed out <laughs> never trying Ninja before. I'm glad I'm finally getting the opportunity to try it. Just throw up a little cure just to be a dick. Just trying to keep hate. <laughs> okay, I've got TP again. Okay, Swift Blade. And Dragon Kick. Game, set, match. Good night. Okay, so after we beat them, um, the Magma drops six rare EX frag rocks. So there we go. Rage Cat doesn't need one because she's not doing the mission. Okay, we got the rock that we need. Let's head back to Norg and we will report our success to Gilgamesh. Arg, you gathered all the jewels. You make a mighty fine pirate. No wonder me daughter likes you. Now all you have to do is take those to the ancient temple on Zepwell Island. You'll find Zepwell Island off the southwest tip of Quan. What? You say that's where you found one of the stone monuments? Well, then you don't need me directions now, do you? Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and trade him the frag rock. As soon as I can find it. There we go. Sometimes my auto sort feature on my window or program throws me off a little bit. Ha <laughs> ha. Me landlubbing adventurer brought back a frag rock. Looks like I need to find myself some new mateys. Ha ha ha. I guess this means you've completed your mission. Now let me write you something you can take back to... That won't be necessary, sir. Oh, hello, Ayami. Arg, why, if it ain't little Ayaya, you get prettier every time I sees ya. Gilgamesh, it was fine when you called me that when I was a child, but I'm 20 years old now. So what brings you to these parts? Come to check up on your adventurer? That is one of the reasons we wouldn't want you snatching up one of Bastok's best. Oh, wow, there's my ego boost for the day. If I wanted to snatch up Bastok's best, I'd be snatching up the fine samurai standing in front of me. How about it, Ayaya? Leave that boring job of yours and join us. We'd love to have you. You'd have the chance to wield your blade whenever you please. Not when that president says you can. Arg, what do you say? Well, I'm flattered by your offer. I'm satisfied with and hold pride in my current post. I realize that I still have much to learn, but at the same time I feel I must travel the roads I see fit to travel. Swords and muskets are not made to be drawn. That is what my parents taught me, and those are the words I wish to live by. Ayaya. I brought with me a document from the president himself. It covers the treatment of Bestock and adventures, as well as overseas trade guidelines. You may want to read over the details at a later time. You need not give an answer now. However, I trust that Norik will take steps in the right direction. Arg, you don't leave much room for choice now, do you? I'll take that as a compliment. I learned everything I need to know from the years I spent here in training. Okay, okay. You go back and tell the old president I say hello. Oh, and don't you forget to talk to Ryoma before you leave. It's the best you could do for him. I'm sorry, but that will have to wait until another day. However, maybe next time I will bring along my younger sister. Your assignment in Norg is complete. You may return to Bastok now, and do not forget to report to Naji upon your arrival. He will be waiting where he always waits. <laughs> well, that's cool. You're finally back from Norg. So, did you see Ayami? You mean she said all of that? I guess she went to Norg to reconfirm what she already knew deep down in her heart. 
Hey, don't you go off telling her that I was worried about her now. It's just that, well, Aomi gets all the good missions while I get zilch. I wish I got to go to Norg. I don't think Norg needs any more door boys. <laughs> you always put your foot in your mouth, Najee. Yeah, you're probably right. Wait a minute, what do you mean, door boy? You move one inch from your post and I'll have you on latrine duty. Yes, ma'am. All clear on the northern front. Oh, cool. Rank seven. <laughs> oh, poor Najee. Just can't catch a break. <laughs>